truth. Hey guys, it's Desi and welcome back to another video. So today, we're not actually going to be doing any specific gameplays of a specific champion. I'm going to be actually doing a let's talk with you all. And here, you'll be able to ask any questions that you have or any concerns or give your feedback or opinions as well. This is a total free platform to say what you want to say. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them. Either myself or another person might answer them. If you have your own opinions, also let them let us know. And I'll be also giving my own opinions about the new update that's coming to the realm, I believe, at the end of July, I think. I'm not 100% sure, or sometime in July. But in this video, we're just gonna be going like an almost overview, mainly focus on the crossover and in the next video i'll be talking about the balance changes well it's not really balance changes actually talent reworks which i'm actually which i actually really want to talk about with you all just to see what you guys think of it but that'll be in the next video and also i'll be having another video explaining about ray but overall in this update you're getting a new champion ray you're getting the balance changes you have the event pass trials of the realm new limited time modes and yeah in this video as i said i will be talking about the event pass the trials of the realm and the limited time modes Trial, trials of the realm not as much but the limited time modes i want to talk about here so first and foremost in this you get of course the new event pass that comes every time and this is the first ever crossover pass and it's genlock which is supposedly a good anime for everyone to watch if you haven't already i haven't watched it but i'll definitely watch it before actually playing the new update hopefully that's if i have enough time if work doesn't get in my way but what surprised me the most is that not only you're getting five skins which is nice you're getting mave zin lex victor and knessa the price of it is a lot more than i expected than i expected as a matter of fact it's 750 crystals which i did not expect and it's only 30 levels which is a bit abysmal i must say i did not i did not i did not see that number coming i was expecting either 550 or 600 and yeah that's 750 crystals gone into the dump but i do feel like with some of the skins is worth it especially the zinc skin which is by far my favorite one i'm not going to I will talk about which was my least favorite one and I'll explain why and that's going to be my personal opinion but personally Zen is the best one there. I just love how slick he is, how neat, tidy, everything about him is just perfect and I don't have a problem with him. The effects are very beautiful as well and the fact that he speaks Japanese as well. Even though we won't have a clue what he says unless you understand the language, it's just so amazing to have something different into the game and have someone that doesn't speak English at all in that sense just make sure that when he's saying enemies behind us you're actually looking at the screen because you you won't know what you're saying but yeah in this you get five skins sadly you don't get any recolors especially with the transform version which is behind them it's teasing us right now thinking that we're gonna get the recolors but we're not which is a shame I wish they do is um, what they do in smite if you play smite and you know that um, the god Kukokan Kukokan Kukokan? Yeah, there's a god, the flying god. One of his ski one of their skins during the match it changes. So Kukokan, I think that's the name, transforms during the match. And it'd be so cool if they did that here. Like they transform into the meta version of themselves. And they could also transform back. Or when they have an ult ready, they transform into that. It'll be so cool just to have that. But sadly they don't. But anyways, with the first skin, you get Kami, which is Mei. Really like the skin. Sadly, we didn't get to see the full-on look of it and everything because obviously, if in the live show, you notice that the audio and the visuals were very delayed. So, I really like it though. The sound effects ain't too loud, ain't too annoying. Um, the effects on the weapon are really, really, really cool really love it and the ult is actually pretty interesting as well one thing i did want to notice is that when she was doing her prowl i think that's the name hopefully i remember it they have like little speed and speedometers on the on the bottom left hand side which is really cool and the good thing about it that it's kind of trans it's like translucent so you can still see through it it's not blocking 
a bit of the way and it's pretty cool. The next skin is Valentina aka Canessa and this one as they said was a very difficult skin to manage and I can tell because the gun doesn't retract itself, it stays elongated and it looked weird in the game. I'm going to be real honest with you, it looked very weird. Not sure if I like it, I will have to see it personally on my screen to see how it looks but when looking at it over there it's going to feel weird playing Knessa especially when let's say a flank comes up to you and use your rifle um, the rifle and you're shooting it's going to look weird and I'm not sure it's going to affect how you aim not too sure because obviously the weapon is more forward I will say so we'll see I will actually have when Knessa does cut well when the update does come out I would definitely do a side by side comparison with the with a normal Knessa and this Knessa just to see the difference but I feel like nothing too much will change but yeah the level 18 you get the chase which is Victor and you get this one for free and this is one that causes the most commotion I must say because everyone's wondering why Victor is black which I did not understand or as a matter of fact why Knessa was white and these are people that I know definitely didn't watch the anime and were very ignorant and decided to, you know what, let's find a reason to complain because our community is based on complaining, let's be real. <laughs> I'm going to be out there and honest with you. This community is based on complaining and I feel like these people love to just find something to complain about. But I bet any money, if I watch, this, um, if I watch Gen Lock, I will completely understand. Obviously, they're doing it based on personality, looks and who matches those characters more with each champion like you won't see Maeve who's a hacker who's very I would say ballsy as Vatu as some people wanted Vatu to be the Maeve it would make no sense but with Victor love the um, weapon love the iron sight as well it's very neat and tidy um, I felt like some of the effects were the same as the default victor i need to check it again but i felt like his grenade was the same and also his binoculars has always been the same i wish they changed it to make it more futuristic sadly they didn't but i wish they made the binoculars when he was doing his ult very um futuristic it'll be very nice and also the blast of his ults i'm not sure if i was paying much attention but it looked pretty much the same as his default one I need to recheck it again and I'll probably put subtitles if I noticed it, the difference but I felt like it was pretty much the same and what I'll do again is when I do Victor do a side by side, side, by side comparison with default Victor and this Victor just to try it out but other than that we're going to go to the best one which I believe is the Zin skin the Kazu which you look at level 24 skin is absolutely phenomenal like this is the best one in the game and i love the transform version behind him as well which is very massive like he looks he looks like the most powerful person there like the one that will give out the orders even though victor is the main character in this sort of scenario zin looks like the top dog here like someone you don't want to mess with and i love it the sword is amazing his outfit is amazing the effects on it is wonderful i still remember it and the best part is the billow I must say I love the billow even though a disadvantage is that you can see that from a mile away because it's bright colors bright neon colors I think I think it's neon colors so you can see that from a distance and you can tell Zin is there but apart from that it's a great skin he speaks Japanese as well so even though I won't have a clue what he's saying I'll just be intrigued at what he's saying even I have no clue what he's saying he might be cussing everyone and I'm just here like yes I love it <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so we're gonna go to the last skin, which you look at level 29, which is the which is Yaz Yasmin Yasmin. That's a weird name. Never heard of that name before. Yasmin, which is Lex. Again, one that causes a lot of confusion there because she's a female in this, and they're wondering why a female character is brought into this. Obviously, there would have some issues which I mentioned in the live stream with the proportion of the body because obviously hit scans gonna be different well hitbox is gonna be different because obviously women are a lot thinner men are more bulkier so they had to change up a bit but i feel like they did a very good job i didn't notice a massive difference when looking at it which is good and i do the best part about this skin is the weapons 
the weapons are smaller and it just fits very nicely and the reload animation is a, personally a lot more better than the default Lexus one even though it's very basic it's just dropping the weapon or reload the weapon out of the screen and then bring it back up I really love it in this also you also get like sprays avatars 3d sprays mvp poses not really go to go into depth about that but there will be images showing of all the mvp poses for you all so you all can see you get the death card of dr weller which is part of the anime and a death stamp oh this is cute apparently it's a nugget i believe which is very nice it's a very cute um death stamp i really like that definitely going to be using that trials of the realm is going to be the same not too much different so i don't really want to talk too much about that get 300 crystals a couple of gold event pass levels event pass team boosters and also skin boosters in this one thing i do feel like is that skin boosters are a bit sh shite in this you only get i think two and you don't get any in the event pass which is appalling i must say i wish they can give at least four skin boosters four a minimum of four because people that grind these stuff want to try the skins and they're going to try two of them or just do it twice which is it's not good at all and i'd rather have four than two in this bounty stores are coming back which is amazing there's something small there um and okay okay now so this is something i wanted to talk about which is the limited time modes that are coming into the realm and i feel like with one of them they were influenced by what by the feedback that probably were given to them because everyone wanted this and even i wanted this the, so in the past if you played paladins quite a while ago i believe and you went onto a specific map i think it was oh oh i don't i can't remember the name sadly but it was the map it was one of the maps on siege you're able to pick a champion and all five people were able to pick that same champion i think it was a bug and pa um, palantir never noticed but we all did and we loved it but they sadly fixed it so that was a thing and now there's a limited time mode it's called pick any you can pick any champion you want it doesn't matter if you don't have it you can pick any champion you want and if someone picked it already you can pick the same champion so as nico said you can have five rocks and as it says here mo totems no problems it's classic nico thing to say so if you're on five rocks five drogos this five yagorovs five rams that'd be crazy i really want to try that it would i actually i can't wait to try this one and then the next one is called hunter versus hunter which i thought it was Knesset and Strix for some bizarre reason but i'm really excited for this one so it says here two gunslingers stand up opposite each other in the blink of an eye two guns are drawn when the dust settles only one of the former comrades in arms will be left standing will it be the hand of justice or will it be the god slayer you decide in this gun blazing game mode like wow this is a game mode that i did not expect and i really want to try it out and i'm so looking forward to it is the fact that you have Lex versus Androxis. If you watch, um, if you know Gandalf on YouTube, who's an amazing animator who made um, Paladins like trailers and he animated them from scratch, they're amazing. And check them out. I'll probably put a link in the bio if I remember to. But they did a scene when they have Lex and Androxis. Lex was behind and Androxis was facing forward and lex said i'm sorry and you see his ult charging like the lord charging about to kill him it looked beautiful absolutely beautiful and i feel like it's going to be in that source sense i don't know how they're going to do it i don't know if it's going to be 1v1 or yeah i have things going to be one um one v one maybe and you have one person gets to choose either it's going to be androxis or lex and another person gets the person that the other person didn't get and it's going to be either probably a TDM Abyss, face off each other and see who wins. And we're going to see who's the ultimate flank here or the ultimate gunslinger. I can't wait. Yeah, I just can't wait. It's going to be interesting. Now, this is what I want to talk about. What I'm a bit angry of with 
paladins for doing this. So customizations, you get the 50th champion celebration avatar of Ray, very nice. You get the Mayhem Batu. In all honesty, that skin caught me off guard. I'm gonna be real. I was like, oh, Batu skin. Like, um, I was hoping for um, an Eevee or Willow skin, but they said Eevee skin. I was like, yes, Eevee skin. And then I saw the skin, I was like, you got to be kidding me. No offense, I am happy there's a new E3 skin, but it's essentially a new recolor. It's not a new skin, it's a new recolor. And it just felt like they just couldn't be bothered to make. It's, wait a second. Bomb King is on the right hand side. They're making a Bomb King, they're making a Bomb King skin. Ooh. But also, who's that behind Eevee there? I'm not, I can't really see, but I wonder if that's going to be another skin of another champion. It looks kind of like Ash for some bizarre, or, um, I can't, I'm really bad with names, I forgot. But this Eevee skin, even though you can't get a sweet shot Eevee, I will definitely get this skin, which is nice. Don't get me wrong, it's a very nice way to get the skin. But I felt like I would much prefer them making a new Eevee skin rather than just doing a simple recolor. People might disagree with me, but that's what I personally feel. I felt like it was kind of a, oh, we need the Eevee skin, but we can't be bothered to make another skin, if that makes sense. So let's do a recolor instead. That's what I felt like, and that's what, that's what I kind of felt disappointed. But at the same time, it is a new Eevee skin, even though Eevee hasn't really received that much skins. But I don't want to go. I don't want to dwell too much on that. Let's talk about Vatu. Vatu skin is amazing. His effects are cool, very simple, and not too over the top. The weapon looks phenom uh, phenomenal, like absolutely phenomenal. It's so different to the default ones, and boy oh boy, it is amazing. Wow, I'm just shocked. And the fact that he has six arms, which I did not expect. I saw the two arms at the front when he's like doing like sort of praying sort of style with his hands. Okay, I was like, okay. And then I saw another two and I was like, wow, that is absolutely incredible. I didn't even see it before, but I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And there's not really anything else I want to say. I will be ignoring the balance changes and leaving that for another video and actually doing a sort of, well, I won't do that soon it will come out when what's it called when let's see how do i explain this when a new update comes out so i do a side by side comparison i was going to stop doing that but for this specific update i will because it's a major one and i want to talk about it um oh furia got a disgusting nerf oh no i'm going to talk about it in the next video i feel bad for not saying it now just just in case you all guys don't know but I'm, I'm very angry. <laughs> I'm very angry right now. Oh my gosh, that is a disgusting nerf. They they just changed it, but that's a nerf and a half. Um, Grover, Ceres, but yeah, that's happening. But apart from that, there's nothing much I really wanted to talk about. Um, yeah, that's everything. I will. I was gonna do a video explaining everything, but I felt like one, my voice is gonna die on me if I do that. And <laughs> two, this video will be very long and I don't have time to edit all of that together. But anyways, hopefully I've all enjoyed today's video. Do let me know what you think about the update. Don't dive too much on Ray and other things I didn't talk about. Make sure you save that for another video that's coming very soon. And yeah, apart from that, expect a Ray edit, definitely. I don't know how I'm going to edit it. I'm not sure if I'm going for aesthetic, cutesy, badass. I'm not too sure. But expect a rate edit. I'm going to make sure it's probably one of my best edits I've done. Because this is definitely going to be my main soon. And yeah. Have a lovely day everyone. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye bye.